everybody, my name is Aslan. This month's Emetus video is on extended fast. Extended fast is used for detecting peritoneal, pericardial, and pleural free fluid as well as for the identification of pneumothorax. In this video, we will discuss the sonographic evaluation of pneumothorax. It's known that in multiple trauma patients, pneumothorax may easily be overlooked on chest radiographs taken in the spine position in order to maintain spine immobilization. However, under the same conditions, the sensitivity of sonographic pneumothorax evaluation is over 95%, and this value is much higher than that of chest radiography. Start the evaluation process in B mode. You should see the ribs shining white on both sides, with their acoustic shadows underneath and the shimmering pleural line extending between to the two ribs. This image is also referred to as the bad sign. In the normal lung, the pleural layers slide across one another during respiration. This moment, called lung sliding, is the most common sonograph finding detected in the normal lung. You can use power Doppler to better visualize this moment. In the normal lung, the lung sliding motion creates the B lines, which may be seen as bright comet tail artifacts generating from the player vertically down towards the lower border of the screen. You may also see the A lines, which from under the player as a reverberation artifact and extend as lines parallel to the player. A lines may be seen both under physiological and pathological conditions. The A lines, which are not visualized clearly in this example, are parallel to the pleura, and they often mimic the distance between the probe and the pleura. After completing the evaluation in B mode, proceed to M mode evaluation. The M mode cursor placed vertically on the space between the two ribs will provide the visualization of the skin, subcutaneous tissue, pleura, and lung tissue, respectively. In the normal lung, the skin and the subcutaneous tissues appear as linear strands, while the lung tissue under the pleura will create a granular image. This finding is also referred to as the seashore sign. In the case of pneumothorax, the lung sliding and the B lines will disappear because of the air accumulating between the pleural layers. In this ultrasound image of the patient with pneumothorax, we see that the B lines and the lung sliding movement are absent. In addition, the A line is treated much deeper below the pleura. Here on the left side, we see the normal lung image with the lung sliding and the B lines, whereas on the right side, in the sonographic image of the patient with pneumothorax, we see that the lung sliding has disappeared. The B lines are also absent. In M mode, the seashore sign will leave its place to a pattern of linear streaks called the barcode or stratosphere sign. Here on the left side, we see the M mode sonographic image of a normal lung with the seashore sign. Whereas on the right side, we see the barcode or stratosphere sign in a patient with pneumothorax. Another finding referred to as the lung point occurs when the normal pleura moves in and out of your visual field with each breath. While following the lung sliding moment, you will see that there is a sliding motion on one side and no sliding motion on the other side. In M mode, Lung point sign is portrayed as alternating seashore and barcode patterns. This finding is known to have a low sensitivity and a high specificity. In addition to all these findings, another finding recently described is called the heart point sign. This find is caused by the pneumothorax filling the void between the anterior chest wall and the heart during the systole causing a momentary disappearance of the heart during cardiac imaging. Finally, it should be kept in mind that evolution in case of subcutaneous emphysema may be difficult, and that the lung sliding sign may be lost in cases such as 
ARDC, atelectasis, chronic adhesions, wrong intubation or fibrosis. Pin dot, it will be useful to scan both hematoresis in multiple files. Imatus wishes all emergency department staff pleasant shifts with little non-medical problems and plenty of training. Have a nice day.